Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in finding out how to find an awesome, amazing man, well, stick around because that's what you and I will be discovering on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm very excited to be sharing with you how to find an awesome man. I'm gonna dive right into it and share with you the first of seven steps. Number one is define what an awesome man means to you. Every woman has a different idea of what it really means for her to find an awesome man. And unless you're clear on what those things are, and I don't mean a 25,000 page itemized list of qualities, but unless you're willing to have your top five qualities, on a piece of paper, and also the top five things you're absolutely never settling for, then it's gonna be hard for you to know when you find the guy that it's the right resonance. Here's why. Because you'll connect with a guy who has this energy about him that you really enjoy. It may not have any of the five things or six that you're really looking for in a guy, but the chemistry feels strong, so you might delude yourself into thinking he's your guy, when in reality he's just somebody that you have a strong karmic or physical or sexual connection with. Number two, sounds simple, but it's really important. Be an awesome woman. You want an awesome man? Be an awesome woman. And I know that you can say, Bern, tell me something more specific. What does that mean? I'm gonna give you three hints of what it really means to be an awesome woman. The first one, I'm talking about being an awesome woman in this way, being an open woman. Open woman means being able to have that quality of openness heart, mind, spirit within you. Having the capacity to express that flexibility and that power of taking someone inside your heart. That's what, it, that's what openness really means. And it starts with something as simple as your body. So practice if you can, when you have uh, a possibility of connecting with a human being, whether it's a man or a woman, to feel your body and to feel more open. That's the first key of three. The second one is truth. And what I mean by truth is being consistent with your truth. That means that you're able to express what you want, you're able to express what you don't want, you're able to express your and voice, your opinion, your likes, your passions in a way where it's clear, your distinct flavor of you is clear to someone, clear to that guy. Because you want for a guy who wants you to be a fuck yes type of connection versus a maybe. Right? A maybe is not really a connection. So for you, for someone to say, yeah, this person's a hell yes type person for me, that person needs to really know who you are and that can't get to know you if you're not showing your truth. The third one is heart. And that means being able to step into your heart and feel, not just think. When you communicate with a man, being able to feel him and being able to express yourself through your heart, not just your thoughts. So that's the second one, be an awesome woman. The third one seems simple, but without it, you can be an awesome woman and it doesn't really matter. Third one is know it. Know that you're an awesome woman. If you're taking the steps of being an awesome woman, of being alive, of being open, of being feminine, of being expressive, and you doubt it, then the man will actually overlook all that awesomeness because there's this level of confidence and this level of knowing and owning your stuff that is not present. Knowing it doesn't mean being uh, better than someone else. Knowing it doesn't mean thinking that people are less than you. Knowing it is a humble act, but also a strength within that humbleness, humility, right? So you're humble in the fact that you know that everybody has something special, but you know that what you know who you are and you're not afraid to show it. So that's the third step, know it. Know that you're an awesome woman. Number four, learn to say no. Here's the thing, if you step into defining what you want in a man, if you step into a being, not thinking, being an awesome woman, and you know it, you're gonna attract a bunch of situations and kinds of guys into your life. Not just awesome men, but guys who are absolutely not a fit for you. Learning to say no is absolutely crucial, because that's when the universe actually starts guiding you into getting what you want. If you say yes to everything, or if you have no way of setting standards or boundaries, then it's hard for you to ultimately get what you want because you get distracted. You waste time with things, situations, and men 
that have nothing to do with what you ultimately want. Number five is create multiple openings. Create multiple openings means you take this habit of openness with you wherever you go. So instead of looking back or down or into your phone, you look into someone's eyes. Instead of frowning or having this mysterious look in your face, you smile <laughs> and you allow someone to know that, they, that you're approachable, that, you're, that he can connect with you, that you're someone who wants and appreciates human interaction. Because when a man feels that you're a high value woman, but he also feels that you're open to it because you're showing it, then multiple points of new interactions and openings take place from which you have choice. You have real choices. Number six is redefining rejection. Now, I see so many women who take the first steps and they're doing so well, they're creating these connections. They find a guy that they feel is the guy for them, even though he hasn't proven himself. And for whatever reason, the guy is not into them or the guy has someone else or the guy chooses to disappear and they take it personal. Redefining rejection means that you don't give somebody else the power of telling you how awesome you are. Because if you're defining who you are or how amazing or how valuable you are based on the fact that someone awesome saying yes to you, then you're going to be in for a lot of pain. But if you choose to view those interactions when someone maybe not be ready or maybe someone is confused or maybe someone doesn't know what he's missing out on, then you know it's not just about you. The world doesn't revolve, the universe doesn't revolve around you. There's other reasons that have nothing to do with you why a guy, including not knowing what he wants, including not being a good guy for you, that will make him go away. So choose to buy into the theory that says if a man is not ready for you, you don't want him in your life. Number seven <laughs> is probably the most fun. Because if you're doing the work, if you're stepping into consciously and courageously opening your heart to be this kind of woman, and take the necessary steps to create interactions and openings and you're redefining rejection. Seventh step is to let him find you. Let him find you means that when you are being this way, when you're stepping into the world this way, when you're creating openings, the man will find you. You don't have to find him. <laughs> That's the most fun thing. Now, this is not to say that you stay in your house watching Netflix, you don't create openings, you don't turn yourself into an awesome woman, you don't find in paper and in principle what it is that you want in a man and then he finds you. That doesn't work. But when you're taking the steps, a man will find you. He will step into you. He will pursue you, not chase you, pursue you. And then he'll get an opportunity on your heart. <laughs> Those are the seven steps, my friend. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up that allows you to sign up to a free webinar I'm hosting that will share with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Very powerful stuff, very actionable strategies, uh, and absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, place a comment on this video or any of my other videos, and I promise to reply to you personally or create a video <laughs> just for you. Mwah, thank you.